What's up, motherfuckers? This is Operation Beast, bringing you some Battlefield 3 gameplay. Today we're going to be looking at some close quarters team deathmatch on Damavand Peak. Um, sorry about my voice, guys. I've had the flu. I've been sick for like the whole last week. But I've really wanted to get out my first video with commentary. Um, sorry that my first couple videos, you know, shit quality. I've had some problems with my recorder and getting the quality up. Um, hope the quality on this one's better. Should be 720. And today I'm going to be showing you some aggressive recon gameplay. So it, it's pretty good. It, it gets it gets better around halfway through the video. So I'm going to pretty much I'm going to talk about tell you guys how exactly I play as an aggressive recon. So aggressive recon is what I would call when you got the snipe rifle and you know you're running around, you you're in the action, you're with everyone else with the assault rifles. You're pretty much using the sniper rifle as an assault rifle that has one shot kill, which requires really good accuracy of course. Um and so like what kind of sniper would you use? Well, you know, if you if you've done your research, then you know that the M98B is for sure the strongest sniper rifle. You know, it has the most damage, least bullet drop. I mean, that's great, but I only use that for long range. For aggressive sniper, you know, you're up close and personal. You you want something that like reloads quick, and like more importantly than reloads quick is that the bolt has to be quick. I am not too fond of the. Um, semi-automatic sniper rifles, you know, they're not as strong, and I don't know, they, they just don't feel like a sniper rifle to me, you know, you really feel the fucking power, you know, in, in a gun like the, the M40A5, um, which, which has the fastest bolt movement, so that's what I would suggest you use, you could use it with a red dot sight if you like, something like that, I, I'm, I like the, the iron sight, so that's what I go with, um, Attachments you'd want to have, you 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 need to have the laser sight like that's a must because you know if you're really close to the person you don't have enough time to zoom in, you're gonna want to no scope them and the laser sight gives you all that accuracy you know that's really vital when it comes to like really close encounters with the enemy. Then you're gonna want you're gonna probably want to put the uh, whatever it's called, you know, the, the fast, the fast bolt thing, because, because if you miss one shot, or like, if you don't shoot them in the head or in the chest, you gotta shoot them one more time, you're gonna want to do that really fast, so that's why you're gonna want to choose this gun, um, secondary, you know, take, take a good pistol, I, I like one that's really strong, so that'd be the Magnum, or the Rex, I prefer taking a Rex, because it's slightly faster firing rate, and slightly faster reload, um, time at least that's how it feels to me so that's how I take you know I take that gun if you want you can take like the M1911 or something like that but the thing is like I, I prefer to finish off the enemy as fast as possible because when you when you're up against someone with like a with uh with an assault rifle or an LMG or a PDW you know they're gonna have like a, a whole fucking mag to, to just put in you so you're gonna want to kill that person as fast as possible um, and, and so, so, like, I would take, I would take a gun, like, you know, you shoot them once with a sniper rifle, they're still not dead, then you're gonna wanna pull out the Rex and a Magnum, one more shot, you know, they're dead for sure, well, if you take the, M the, the M1911, you, you might have to shoot it a, a couple more times, which, in that time, could result in your death, so, um, you know, the whole tip for aggressive recon, you, you gotta be fast, you gotta be really fast, you gotta be really good at aiming, you know, um, you gotta be aware of everyone around you, aware of how many people you're shooting at, you know, if there's too many people in a room, you're gonna wanna get the fuck out of there, get some distance between them, um, you know, you, you, I mean, the main thing is the accuracy, and, and the thing is, the best strategy, uh, for those of you who don't use, um, the Recon class. And if you want to try it out, I, I would really suggest, like, when you get good at this, you fucking beast with this thing. Like, when, when you get good with it. 
Um, this this is some average gameplay I haven't played for 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 like months. So I mean, it's not that great. Plus I'm sick, so I mean fuck it. But I wanted to get something out for you guys. So you're gonna want to shoot them. You know if they're not dead, then you're gonna want to whip out that pistol straight away. You know no delay. Also, since the crossbows came out, that's that's a great addition to the recon class. It doesn't really benefit any other class that much. But the recon, I mean, you know, fuck the tug. I mean, really, you're not you're not gonna use it as much as you would use the crossbow, especially when, let's say, someone's shooting at you. You know, they're running after you. You run behind the corner. You're gonna want to lie down, pull up that crossbow straight away, because then you got a one shot kill for sure, unless you hit him in the foot or the hand. But then for sure, you know. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a one shot kill. Um, it's it's really good. Also, I haven't unlocked the scan ball yet, but that would be really helpful too. But I prefer to have it as like another weapon, so that you know if you miss the crossbow, boom, you got the sniper. If you miss if you if you miss the sniper, you're still fucking alive. Then you know, boom, whip out the pistol. So um, that that would be pretty good. So yeah. The main thing is, you know, you gotta be aggressive. That's the whole point of being aggressive recon. You know, you gotta be running around. Do not camp. Do not stay in one spot. You're gonna be want to be moving around the map as much as possible. You're gonna want to know where the action is. I'm playing on a close quarters team deathmatch, so you know it's it's really small. The actions basically in the middle with this map. I really like this map. I uh, actually haven't played on this map for a really long time. And for those of you who play PC, this might be a little boring, actually. Um, you know, I play on PS3, so there's much fewer players, and there's not even full players on this map. There's, like, what, seven, eight players on each team. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a good map. It's nice. Yeah, I like the amount of people here. It's it's good, because you don't get, like, fucking raped by all the, the assault rifles. You have a decent chance. Um... Yeah, if you look at the level of the people, they're not they're not too great. I don't know why. Normally on the on on all the servers is like really high people, but fuck it. I mean, it, it's pretty evenly evenly based. Um. So so yeah, you're just gonna want to move around and keep keep a little bit of distance. Yeah, I, fuck that dude. I don't get it. I knifed him and he doesn't die. Anyways, you're gonna want to keep your distance a little bit. I I would suggest being like. 20 meters away, 10, 20 meters is like the perfect distance for this gun, um, here, this guy gets me real good, sneaky fucker, just pops out his head and shoots me with a crossbow, but good aim, good aim, he got me fast, um, yeah, oh yeah, by the way guys, I tried to do a live commentary and that just fucking failed, um, you know, I, I just couldn't concentrate on the gameplay and the commentary at the same time. I was either focusing way too much on the commentary, which is what I was doing most of the time before, and, you know, my gameplay just sucked, I wasn't paying attention, then at some point I tried to pay, play, fuck, pay attention to the, the commentary and my, my gameplay, or, fuck, I already said this, I tried to pay, pay attention to the, uh, the gameplay and my commentary was just like, um, 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 and then like moments of silence. I know this commentary isn't great. It's not planned out. You know, I'm not sick. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't really feel like doing the whole planning out my commentary right now. Uh, I'll be getting some good shit for you guys soon. Hopefully, when I get the time, I'm gonna start making a series with um, Saints Row Three, uh, maybe Far Cry Three. You know, some shit like that. So um, that should be good. There, those kind of games. You know, the attention is not as demanding. So. In those, I could do some live commentary, but I think for Battlefield, I'm going to be really sticking with this. I'm going to be making a montage, but that's not going to be coming out anytime soon, you know. Um, I need I need a fuckload more clips, and it's going to be my first montage ever, but I want to make it really good. Um, I don't know if you guys watch the Hazard cin Cinema, but... Okay, nothing close to them, but, you know, I'm going to try to make it, like, good, kind of like them. Like, I'm kind of copying their idea of, like, each shot goes with the beat and shit like that, you know, so uh, that that won't be out for a while, but should be good, um, I don't know if you guys check Battlelog, but I was checking the news on Battlelog, and there was, there was some shit about, about, you know, the same shit, or maybe it was on Facebook, yeah, no, it was on Facebook, it was on the Battlefield Facebook page, the same shit they post all the time about buying premium, 
you know, I already got it, but I, I mean, I read the thing, and then it, it was like to link, it was like a link, and I click on the link, and it was talking a little bit about uh, Endgame, uh, sorry guys, what's it? <coughs> sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck, I'm sick. Anyways, yeah, it's talking about Endgame, and I scroll down to play the page a little bit, and then I see something that says, Included with Battlefield 3 Premium Edition. And you know that it's like this little, this little uh, box showing you like all the maps you're gonna get, and when you buy premium, the maps, weapons, vehicles, game modes, assignments, and dog tags. And you know, and I was looking at it, and I was kind of interested. Like, I think Endgame is gonna have like a fuckload to offer because it says in this little box, it says 29 maps. All right, I think there's been like what four on each. On each, um, on each, on each, uh, fuck, on each, um, map pack, on each DLC so far. Alright, let's say five. So, that'd be, and what are they, be like five DLC so far? That, that's 25, so, okay, four new guns, that's nothing special. Or fucking maps, so that's nothing special, that's like the others. But then weapons, it says 70 plus, for sure, we haven't even gotten, like, 30 new weapons. You know, like, 30 would be it, so... I don't know, man. It just seems like it's a lie. Like, there's no way that they could come up with so many new weapons for Endgame. But if they do, that'd be fucking awesome. Then 30-plus vehicles. You know, I, I would estimate that we've gotten, like, 17, 20 vehicles so far. So, there should be a lot of new vehicles, too. And this is the one I'm most excited about. The game modes. This is 9-plus game modes. I don't know. For, um, for Back to Carcan, I don't think we got a game mode. For um, close quarters, we got we got a game mode, so that's one right there. Then for aftermath, or sorry, armored kill, we got one game mode. Aftermath, or which was that was tank superiority. Aftermath, we got we got um, scavenger. Was there one other map pack? Uh, I don't think so, but like let's say there is. I don't know, I, I think I've forgotten, but let, let's say there is, that, then maybe one more game mode right there, so that's four right there, and it, this is nine, so like shit, you know, we're gonna have like five new game modes, so that's real good, assignments 30 plus, like yeah, that's great, everyone got an assignments, 370 plus dog tags, that's a lot, man, so, so I think, you know, we got a lot to look forward to in end game. I saw about the dirt bike, I don't know, I, I, I'm not really liking that idea that much, you know, I mean, I, I love the quad, in um in armored kill but i don't know about the dirt bike man it's getting too much of this fucking you know dirt kind of shit you know i wanted something real cool um something good to fly like something easier to fly you know for those who suck but anyways man it's coming to the end of the gameplay so i'll see you guys in the next video hope you like it leave me a comment with what you want to see and stay fucking awesome and have awesome time fucking gaming